Hello everybody and welcome to the United Hand, United Hand, United Stand, it's Manchester United's visit to West Brom on Valentine's Day and in the nicest possible sense and rest in peace to those who did die in the Valentine's Day massacre which I think happened in the 1920s or 30s, um, we're hoping to get absolutely smashed um, but we're hoping to smash West Brom today, I hope that's what's going to happen because we do need that, we do we need, we need a bit of positivity don't we at Manchester United and um, you know maybe we're not going to win the league this season. Season. But we do want to get hold of that second place, of course, and uh, I think we've got a very good chance of doing that with a with a win today. So let's get on with it. Um, I have got a lineup for you, actually: De Gea, Wan Bissaka, Lindelof, Maguire, Shaw, Fred McTominay, Bruno, Martial, Rashford, and Cavani is the team. So no starting place for um, for Mason Greenwood. So that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I've literally just had that sent through to me, so I'm just going to change the screen for you now. But, um, uh, I don't know what I think about that. Don't know what I think about that. Um, I would have liked to have seen uh, Mason start in this game, but I suppose he's got to feed Anthony Martial in, and, you know, Martial definitely does need the confidence, doesn't he? So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not unhappy with that team. I mean, I, I, I suppose the first thing I would say is that there'll be a few people very unhappy that um, I don't know whether I don't know whether I don't know whether Diallo's on the bench. I don't know about that. Great thing if you are um, having uh, to do things, not having to do things. If you are doing things with your partners today, then uh, Manchester United will be done by about five o'clock. Romantic evening, you know, and you can get to watch the football and then get a, and and then but then pretend I've set the evening aside for you. Um, She's in the next room. She's just heard me now. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm an idiot. I've just said that, and that she's in the next room, and it's gone quiet. I've just heard the bin. I think that's my lamb. Right, look at, look at Fred and McTominay here, right in front of the back four, which they're going to have to be. Um, cross to the back post, one nil. Lindelof all over the place, all over the place. Bloody Lindelof all over the place. He might get a foul, but that's a bloody joke. How's that got anything to do with David De Gea? It's the bloody centre backs. Is he playing for them? Is Lindelof playing for them? What is Lindelof doing? Is he playing for West Brom? Bloody hell. They've only just got going in with 1-0 down. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. He's the wrong side of him. There's a mismatch in height. He's just bullied Lindelof. He's got... Oh, my God. Lindelof is useless. Who sticks up for Lindelof? He comes in from behind. He's, he's coming through the back door. Lindelof's in front of him. Oh, he's been bullied out of that. There's no way De Gea can save that. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And people don't... And he, well, I, th I think that might be a bit of a foul. VAR might have a look at this. No, they're not. They're not. They're bloody not. Oh, I don't believe it. Bloody hell. That is just ridiculous start from Manchester United. 1-0 down already. Well, that, uh, yeah, uh, Sky, Sky Sports, get it, get it on about De Gea then. Go on, get Gary and Graham and bloody Jimmy to talk about how it's De Gea's fault. He's got to come for that. He's got to save that. Nonsense, absolute nonsense. The problem at Manchester United is the centre backs. Get out and go. Go on now, go. Walk out the door. Don't turn around now. You're not welcome here anymore. Crap, centre backs again, costing us goals. But no, let's let's talk. Let's spend ten minutes talking about De Gea before the match. Fools, absolute fools in the media. They talk about the goalkeeper. Look at the real issue at Manchester United. The centre back partnership is a bloody joke. And any United fan who watches this every week knows full well the problem at Manchester United is their bloody defence. We will achieve nothing. We will not get to finals. We will not win titles with those two at the back. And. Uh, yeah. Way, tactically, I'm watching this game. It's a mismatch. Look at Lindelof and Dinier now. It's a mismatch for height. Why? And he's obviously going to go on Lindelof. He's going to beat Lindelof in the air every time. So either Maguire needs to say to Lindelof, we're swapping and I'm going to stick with him. Or you get Eric Bailly on. But we would, you know, he hasn't grown at kickoff. He's not grown four inches at kickoff. He's not like a, a bloody penis that grows when it gets excited. It... He's always been however big he is. And we knew this before the game kicked off. We knew he was that height. There's a mismatch in height between their striker and Victor Lindelof. And it's a problem. 
It's a problem because if they get the right ball in the box again, he'll win the header again. <clears throat> you want McTominay to stand in front of him. But don't say he's not a CDM because you, you pick, you pick him in it, you, you're playing him as a CDM. We all want him to be a box-to-box -box player. Ollie even knows to play him as a box-to-box -box player. But he's not. he doesn't dare do it. We are, we are shit scared of West Brom in this game. We are shit scared of a second from bottom side. Manchester United at the Hawthorns against second bottom West Brom are playing terrified at the moment. We, we've got to exert ourselves. We're second in the league. We've got quality players. That's good by McTominay. A good run into the box. The pass isn't good enough. See, I, I don't think Maguire pushing forward is really doing anything. What a goal by Bruno Fernandes. Luke Shaw with another assist. And Bruno is there to deliver again. We needed that right before half time. What a volley by Bruno Fernandes. Pure class. Gets us out of jail again. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant this is. Maguire plays it to Shaw. The cross is absolutely brilliant by Luke Shaw to pick Bruno out. But Bruno's movement, look at that. Bang. Left foot volley. Left foot, right foot. Take it out. I tell you what. Criticise Bruno all you like. Come back. Come back to me when you've got some facts. And tell me then. No more questions. Absolute volley. I think he shins it as well. I think he shins this as well. But another assist for Luke Shaw. And a fantastic volley by Bruno Sort of shins it. Doesn't matter. World class. Absolutely world class. You need to change the score. I'd love to change the score. Maguire wants a penalty. He's given it. He's given a penalty. Get in. Well, I thought it was going to be a bit soft. West Brom don't look very happy about it. We'll check it on VAR. We'll check it on VAR. I don't care. Out of jail. Get out of jail free card. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. I don't know what I don't know what McTominay's arguing about. Maguire's going to be offside. He's bloody offside. Bloody gets a penalty and he's offside. What a prat. Wins a penalty and he's offside. What a prat. Well, it, no, it's not offside. It's going to VAR. You blame the players, but where the, where are the tactics? Says Brown West. Well, they haven't got an offside here, so he's not, he's not offside. I maybe have looked at it after the kick of the ball. They've gone VAR. Greenwood's ready to come on here. Let's have a look. No, he's not offside. He's not offside. I don't think he's going to give it. Do you, I think it's a penalty. It's a penalty all day for me. Yes! Get in. He, he, he's got that right. We'll have it. Get in. Oh, what? He's not giving a penalty. He's having a bloody laugh. He's a joker. He's a bloody joke. Well, he's offside anyway. Oh, no. The arm of the other player. That's a penalty. Oh, for fuck's sake. Harry Maguire can't dive. He doesn't know how to dive. Some people think he doesn't even know how to defend. Bloody joke. Cross comes in. Maguire wins it. Oh, Greenwood. McTominay. Oh, Greenwood saved keeper. McTominay off the line. Should have been 2-1 there. Come on. 
We've got this. West Brom have been shit. West Brom have done nothing second half. We've got this. We've got this. Come on. He hasn't given the penalty. We move on. Away from Bruno. Well, they should have just won it there. DNA should have won it there. That is the chance of the game, and he should have won it. West Brom should have won this game. I've said it three times. I'll say it again. Ball out wide to the right. Luke Shaw has to come across. Cross comes in. Lindelof's lost his man again. That should have been a goal. That would have been on Lindelof. Again, not marking his man. Very, very lucky. Very, very lucky. The last attack. Luke Shaw puts the cross in. Maguire. Oh, he's at the post. He's at the post. <sighs> Greenwood. Last chance. Put the cross in, wan -Bissaka. Terrible cross. Terrible cross. Push it. Push it. Come on. Last attack. You've got to put it in. You've got to put it in the box. This ref is shite. He's absolutely shit. He blows the whistle as the cross comes in. Bang on. For, I tell you what, I'm not blaming the referee, but I pity the fool who has got P Pawson as your referee next because he's shit. Good header by Adi Harry Maguire. And he hits the post. Would have been another assist for Luke Shaw.